helpful because this is the last days. I would like to add my voice to so many present truth preachers that are teaching us to be ready to be prepared. We heard about this. Children, mothers and fathers and all of us, sons and daughters, we need to be ready right now because the, the world is about to is about to unleash some of the prophecies that that are being um, being taught for us through decades and decades so we are we're just right now waiting for that great uh, great awakening that will happen in 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 the world if if you notice that there the media is not playing out the con conversion experiences in india in bangladesh in pakistan there's so many christians there right now they are kneeling they're praying they're fasting in the name of the lord jesus christ i i receive a lot of messages from these parts of the world from south america from central america and other parts of europe there are people who are awakened there are people who are who are uh, seeing the the true light of what's happening in our time this man-made pandemic will just bring the 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 glory of god to other people through the revelation of his word so that's why i'm preaching and i'm teaching through these platforms through this social media through this uh, zoom gatherings i i was just uh before this i i, I had a zoom meeting and believe it or not i have not eaten since 10 o'clock until now i just waited and waited and said lord help me to fast and pray help me to help me to be strong spiritually in this time of the end as i as i continue to manage and govern my family today so i hope and pray that you are wise enough to discern the times that we are living in people of god this times is not only alarming it's serious it is we are being played we are we are playing out so to speak the rehearsal of what will be when that time comes when we cannot buy or sell when the mark of the beast is imposed through vaccine through other means you might just say this is conspiracy theory friends wake up you just don't know what's behind the global agenda you don't know what's behind those sinister plots that will that will force everyone whether you're healthy or unhealthy force everyone to bow down to this new world order so friends remember this is a man-made pandemic from bats the bible says do not touch or do not eat those unclean things and the world touched and experimented whether it was deliberate or whether it was accidental it was unleashed man-made virus that has suffered that has brought sufferings to millions trillions of dollars lost jobs millions of jobs lost families are evicted from their homes they cannot pay their mortgage friends there will be many people homeless not only here in the united states of america but throughout the world in the philippines in other parts you just don't know their sufferings they, they can't even buy a decent meal food for their family so we are grateful that through all of this that when the lord reveals to us the promise and it's true and sure that we will rejoice our salvation draweth nigh can i can i hear probably say an amen friends the governors the authorities of this world can close the house of worship but they cannot close our hearts to worship together in spirit and in truth the the, the authorities of this world the the elected officials of this world they may close physically our churches but they cannot close our hearts and our minds to worship the true God on this seventh day Sabbath on this special day when the world neglects that this is the day that the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so I would like to welcome all my friends and I would like to thank you for allowing me to be in your homes I would like to praise God I'm just excited in fact I am I hope and pray that you will stay with me and I hope and pray that this is loud and clear the message today I would like to touch on a few verses in proverbs chapter 10 verses 1 to 10 it's easy to remember proverbs 10 verses 1 to 10 i would like to begin reading from the king james version bible friends and those of you who are watching today and i would like to just make this uh, as as simple as i can words that make sense today in this last days there are words that doesn't make sense but these verses make sense from the protestant bible the king james version bible my go-to bible in this time of confusion in this time of deceive deceitfulness the world is very deceitful friends so this is the time that i lift up to you whether people will criticize me or not about the king james version i would like to read from the protestant english bible to the english speaking world today 
verse 1. It says here, The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son, ma a wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. We all heard about Solomon. What makes him special, friends? Friends, let me tell you a little bit of what of who Solomon is. Solomon is is was born or was in he he was he came from an adulterous affair. So you might judge all oh, this this uh, this son is out of wedlock or this is an uh, you know this child is not from a legal perspective from our own pers uh, cultural and our own set of eyes friends let me let me give you a clarification when god chose his people he qualifies people and if we judge other people good luck if we judge other people if God says He is the King or He is the authority, then He is the one called by God to perform and to, to give the message from the Lord God. So Solomon came from the adulterous relationship of David with Bathsheba. David had a plot to murder uh, Uriah the Hittite. And so he could, be, he could legitimize his relationship with Bathsheba, friends. And the firstborn from that adulterous murderous relationship was was a son and he he died david fasted for seven days but the lord did not answer his prayer the child died died as a lesson that when a man sinned when a king sinned an innocent person dies friends it's a lesson that we all have sin against god and the innocent divine blood must be spilled on the cross so that we will be alive so that we can have eternal life so that we can live so so Solomon was born in a very uh, inappropriate in, 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 in a very difficult situation when when the king had this moment of sinful sinful regret and uh, sinful uh, what he called his contrition on his part and God considered David even though he had murdered um, Uriah he had committed adultery with Bathsheba he had blood on his hands he was not able to build the temple of God David was called the a man after God's own heart what a grace what a mercy from God himself recorded in the book of Acts friends Solomon was born not in a very good situation but god used him to give us wisdom for today a wise son makes a glad makes a father rejoice what is a wise son or a wise daughter because during that time it was very patriarchal when they write they include everybody when they write man it includes everybody unless specified so don't be offended don't be gender sensitive when the bible just says son it includes everybody, children, uh, women, uh, seniors, and, and elderly, or whatever you can call. This includes everybody. So, a wise child, or a wise children, or wise children, I mean, makes parents happy. You might be asking me today, what, what, is, what, it, what it, does it mean to be wise? 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9 tells us, what it means to be wise listen to the words of of the bible first kings chapter 3 verse 9 the bible says when when G, when god asked solomon what he needs remember god appeared to solomon physically and he had a conversation you might think oh wow this is far-fetched how could this happen this happened friends because the bible says so and i believe the bible rather than Hollywood. I believe the Bible rather than the, the myth and the fable and the legends of Hollywood or other people. I believe what the Bible says. That's why it's called the Holy Word of God. So God had a conversation with Solomon. Just imagine if you have that conversation and God will ask you, what do you want? And he will say, uh, give, me a, give me a good good house, probably a nice car, probably money in the bank, probably a lot of food. No, but that is not what Solomon asked. He said in verse chapter 9, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad. 
For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? In other words, dearly beloved today, people of God, wisdom is able to discern between good and bad. You have the ability given to you by God to make that judgment call, not to judge other people's character, not to judge other people's appearances or color or skin or, or, or wealth or status in life or their personal lives. No! God allows us or gives us this judgment to know which one is right, which one is wrong. Recently, I visited the Duckweiler Beach. I know some of you are familiar in the LAX uh, area uh, uh, at the far end of the, of the runway at LAX. I noticed that when I brought my family there, there are people who are sm smoking weed or marijuana or, or, or what we call those pot. Do you think it's good because it's legal or is it bad because it hurts other people who are not addicted to this medicinal legal marijuana or, 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 or pot? Friends, the world tells us that good is evil. The world is telling us that evil is good. That is the world. But the Word of God tells us this is good, this is evil. Friends, addiction to any uh, addiction to cocaine, marijuana, cigarette, alcohol is bad, is evil. We have to say it in, in a way that we have, to, we have to distinguish ourselves between right and wrong. But we should not be rude or mean. I'm not saying we should be rude or mean. I'm just saying, friends, that we have to call evil by its right name, speak the truth to power in love, with love, and people nowadays are very sensitive. People nowadays are so politically correct that they don't know what else is right or what else is wrong. Wisdom is knowing what is good or bad. The speaking bad words or the speaking curse words in every sentence makes it good because everybody hears it. I, you know, make sense of this. Every word that I hear when I'm playing basketball in, in the parks, when there are people out there, they would say statements or they would say sentences or even one word with that F word, with that bad word. I cannot, sorry for the sake of the children, I cannot say it out loud. But that, that's, but that's that mean that those words are good? We know that those are not good. But because the world turns good to evil and evil to good, some of us are confused. Some of us are, are just insensitive anymore. Friends, wisdom is to know good from bad and to follow the good and shun the bad. That's why God calls for people today as you are witnessing what's happening to this world. Black lives matter? What about brown lives matter? What about white lives matter? What about everybody's lives matter? Why is it that this is just being highlighted? To divide and to, fumig to fumigate race wars, ethnic wars, and, and to divide our minds, to be fearful. You know, there are many Filipinos who are being discriminated nowadays, just as well as Chinese, just as well as other uh, Asian, Asian descent. Because we are in a situation where I would just call simply what the, the Bible says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Friends, we are living in a foolish times. To, to wear a mask or to not wear a mask. To judge those who are wearing masks or to be hateful to those who are not wearing masks. To bring our children to school nowadays or not to bring our school. It has been politicized. It has been foolishness. Everything has been, in the worldly sense, foolish. That's why, friends, I would like to direct your thoughts in your minds. If you want your parents to be happy, make the wise decision. Do the right thing. What is the right thing in our, in our everyday life? Is throwing the trash the right thing? Or, or obeying your parents the right thing? Or it's not a right thing? Or just playing video games the right thing right now? Or just wasting your life uh, as you are locked down in your, in your homes or shelter in place or whatever they call it? Friends, are you still wise according to the Bible today? A wise son maketh a glad father, but the foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Don't, don't misconstrue the Bible about gender here. It's just, it's just literary art or form. Parents are happy when their children make the right choices. Parents are glad when their children are, are full of wisdom. 
and that is when they read and understand the Bible when they follow the com commandments of the Lord verse number two treasures of wickedness profit nothing but righteousness delivereth from death friends how many people are making billions of dollars nowadays? You know, when you buy from Amazon, I don't know if you if you heard about Amazon, uh, how they do business. I mean, you heard about Amazon, I'm sure. It's not the, 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 the largest or the biggest river in the world. It's, it's where you buy everything, every stuff. Do you know how much they marked up? 60%, 70%. A small arenola. I don't know if you... Urinal. Cost probably in the Philippines one dollar. Here they sell it for nine dollars, ten dollars. And you don't know, you just buy because you need. You don't want to go to the groceries or you don't want to go to the sh shop or you don't want to go out because you're afraid that you will be you will be infected. Rightly so. We have to be cautious. I'm not saying we should not be cautious. But do you know that the people right now, Jeff Bezos is profiteering so much from this pandemic? So much. And other people I'm not saying capitalism is bad it's, it's good in some sense it's evil in other forms but this is my point their riches their their billions of dollars their investment in stock will one day be for nothing believe it or not friends the money that they have parlayed or laid out it will be gone it will just be eaten by moth or it will rust but for now, they're enjoying. But they have stress. They have family problems, divorce. They have uh, children that are addicted to blah, blah, blah. And they have heartaches. They have stress. That's why Elon Musk would like to go to Mars. Because he feels that, he feels that this Earth is full of stress and pressure. Remember how, how Elon Musk will become a trillion dollar entrepreneur. But his personal life is a mess. His his children, his 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 wives, his exes, his, but we cannot judge him. But he's a trillionaire. Later on, he will be a trillion dollar man. The Bible says very clear: treasures of wickedness. I'm not saying altogether. I have proof that they are wicked, friends. They are profiteering so much right now. Sixty percent, seventy percent of every dime or dollar you spend, friends, they have a lot of money right now. They have huge vast amount of money that we can just salivate and just oh i hope he gave me one million no he will not mark zuckerberg he will not give he will donate to the charity of his choice but uh, listen to this friends treasures of wickedness profit nothing why did the bible said that because we need not to focus on the god of, of money in this world we need to be wise we use money for our health for our family for our wellness and to help other people and to be wise in spending and saving and where we invest and where we put our money because that is where our hearts are that where you put your money will be a proof in the judgment where is where are your priorities friends and the Bible says the righteousness but the righteous people they are delivered from death you know I thought I was uh, I thought I had a COVID-19. I just thought in my mind, I said, oh no, I'm infected with COVID-19. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Oh, it's hard to breathe. And uh, oh no, I, I'm going to have a fever. I'm going to have a fever. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Uh, 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 oh no, I have a COVID-19. Because last week I preached at Chinese uh, church. We are in the church where there is AC. But there are a few. We have masks. But I was not masking because I was preaching. And, and today, that, was, that is not allowed anymore by the governor. It, only outdoors, outdoors. So I was there in that, in that beautiful church, preaching my heart out. And when I came come home, I said, oh no, I, I, I cannot breathe. I'm, I'm sniffing, I'm, I'm, I have, a, oh no. I, friends, if I did not read some of the CDC guidelines and the, uh, and the symptoms, probably I will be foolish enough to sh I'll go to the hospital instead instead of me not having COVID-19 I'll probably have COVID-19 when I go to the hospital but I just use the natural remedy maybe not for all but I just use what, what we call in in Cebuan to Ob or in in other languages or dialect for those of you who are born and raised here you may not know what I'm trying to say I just steam and inhale with salt very simple water and salt and I gargled with water and salt 
and the next day I feel better. Praise God for little things from nature that could give us wisdom that, that we can spare or we can preserve our lives. Friends, go back to nature. The vaccine is full of, I tell you, uh, you know. But nature provides for us the best remedies even with this COVID-19. Don't believe what everything you say you, you, you see in media. Be wise. Ellen G. White gives us the prescription. Read her books. COVID-19. How many deaths are there in COVID-19 when we have a lot of cases? There's not a lot. Those people who are vulnerable are dying of, uh, of COVID-19 because they, are, they have pre-existing condition and they're elderly. Their immune system are weak. But for those of us who know to make the right choice in what we eat, what we drink, and we regularly exercise, and we take precautionary measures to be clean, we need not be afraid, friends. Because wisdom says the, righteous, the way of the righteousness delivers us or delivers you and me from death. Verse number three. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but He casted away the substance of the wicked. Very, very clear. Due to time, I'll just continue reading this. And I, and my computer has only 40% 40, 40 battery, and probably I have to because I have a lot of gadgets right now. Please continue. Let me, bear with me. I'll just continue reading until verse 10. Verse number 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent make it rich. Friends, there's nothing wrong when the Lord will enrich us as long as we know what to do with it. We gov govern our resources wisely, good and bad. If you, if you are able to manage God's resources or you are a faithful steward, then by all means, be like Abraham. Be prosperous, be rich, be, be wealthy and be healthy. There's nothing wrong. And in fact, the Lord gives us wealth. The problem is, if we turn our wealth to pride, arrogance, self-seeking, pleasure, hedonism, um, consumerism, materialism, and all of the isms, that is weakness, friends, the way of the weakness. The Bible says, if we are diligent, if we know how to work, if we know how to to do stuff like when you wake up in the morning you throw trash you wash the dishes you you clean up your kitchen you you clean up the bathroom not all the time but this these are things we can do at home clean your yard clean your car or or, or do your readings do your do your of course first first things first devotional prayer and bible reading but this as makes us wise not just like us right now I had to admit I had to confess I wake up at 10 in the morning nowadays before I used to wake up at 5 so I, I had to practice what I'm preaching wake up early you know the same thing prepare good meal do not rely on deliverers you don't know what people are putting in the ingredients in your in your food I'm not saying you should not eat good food but friends nowadays be wise the resources are very slim right now the food bank food bank lines are long the the unemployment insurance will end this month unless congress will do something or the senate will approve something i hope they do because if not there'll be a lot of people who will lose their well their their mortgage their savings or or or, or, or their car payments or their insurance blah 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 so i do hope and pray that they will continue end the stimulus well i'm not going to say about that but be sure to be diligent that's my point be diligent verse number five he that ga gathereth in summer is a wise son or daughter but he that slippeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame harvest here could mean many things harvest literal harvest could mean harvesting rice corn blah 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 wheat but also could be harvesting souls summer is here literally with us with 87 degrees fahrenheit sweltering heat over here 90s last week it was so hot last week it, warm well we have not reached hundreds but still friends summer is a time for us to prepare like the ants go to the ant you slugger go to the ants you lazy bum learn from this from their ways and be wise proverbs 6 6 what does it mean friends it means summer right now preparation the harvest soon is about people who needs to know Jesus Christ.
people who needs to know the Savior. People who needs the, the, the gospel, the everlasting gospel, the three angels' messages, friends. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not just about to sit in our chairs. We have to do something. Blog, Facebook Live, Versus, uh, Zoom, this is the, what you're doing. And many other platforms that you can do. Set up a website. Set up a, 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 an entrepreneurial opportunity for you to support yourself as a missionary. Be a digital missionary. Be a, be a, be a virtual church to your friends. The garbage in Facebook, don't mind them. Unfollow them. But please, friends, within your spirit, tell everybody the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is what our lesson, Sabbath School lesson, is teaching us. How to see other people through the lens of Jesus Christ, through the eyes of Jesus Christ. How can we be effective in our mission and our commission? Verse number 6. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Look at Portland. If you, yeah, you know, I'm not encouraging you to 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 read the news. I don't. Uh, it depresses. But look at Portland. There are people there that are violent. Federal agents versus uh, the 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 BLM movement, the Black Lives Matter, and all those other movements out there. Friends, America is not the same. America is so confused, angry, divided. This nation is prophesied to ref to be the image of the dragon or the beast Rome and we will be the enforcer of what Rome dictates and is it is slowly getting clearer and clearer the ugly picture of a lamb like beast is seen right now through what through the Supreme Court judgments right now friends I don't know if I could still even survive preaching the gospel in the United States of America. Someday our religious freedom will be gone. It is being eroded now, slowly. The voice of those who believe in the Word of God and commandment-keeping people will soon be silenced. And that is part of the agenda of these people behind the scenes, the shadow government. They call it the deep state. I call it the church, deep, uh, the, uh, the, the deep church, I mean. The, the people who have agendas, Luciferian agendas to, 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 to destroy and manipulate Christianity, especially those who, com who keep the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyway, friends, violence is in the mouth of the wicked. Listen to what people are saying, either curses or violence. People are so rude and mean. Not all, but there are many right now. People are just tense field. The media is always showing COVID-19, COVID-19, but they don't show those people who died from cardiac arrest, cancer, and from other chronic diseases. Only COVID-19. It tells you something, friends. Something is wrong with the way we present the truth here. The fakeness of some truth. The, the, the deception. Friends, what had happened right now is exactly what the devil wants us to be. Two, of course we need to respect the authorities because of the emergency, but it has destroyed our desire, our passion to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Where is the church today? The church is cowering in their homes. Where is the church? The church is asking for millions, hundreds of millions of loan from the federal government to support their employees for food, water. That's essential. Yeah, I get it. But where is the church? Yeah, where is the church nowadays, friends? Verse number 7. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. Correct. Verse 8. The wise in heart, heart will receive commandments, but a prating, in the King James Version it, it says prating. It means talking or bubbling. Fools shall fall. Remember what I told you about? The fool says in his heart there is no God. Atheists, agnostics, and those who don't acknowledge the Bible, and those who don't acknowledge God. If they acknowledge what the Bible says, they make fun of what the Bible says into a movie. Like Noah, they made Noah a very bad person. The Bible pro pro uh, pro projects Noah as a righteous man, but Hollywood projects Noah as a bad, evil man. So these are, these are deception. That's why when you are wise, you know what is good 
what is bad you know what is fake what is truth you know what is data or what you know what are facts you know what what are agenda laden deceptive information friends be wise in heart to receive the commandments of God aren't we are so enthusiastic to say oh we are people by the book I am a seventh-day Adventist really do we live do we believe and live the commandments of the Lord do we really do we really walk our talk I have to admit, friends, I fall short. I don't know with you, but I don't want to pretend. I'm done pretending in the church. This is me. God loves me as me. And I love God because He first loved me. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible is very clear. He, the wise in heart, will receive the commandments of the Lord. They will receive instructions. They will receive warning. Warning! Someday, or sooner food chain supply will run out if this pandemic will continue to be crazy water will soon dry up because of drought the Colorado River is at its you know max if you read behind the scenes friends you will be so afraid that you don't know what to do but there are people that let me tell you friends there are people that are not Seventh-day Adventist Christians but they are preppers they have prepared they're in the woods they're in the countryside that's why land right now is so expensive in america because they leave they are leaving behind the apartments the condominiums why they don't want to share the air they are afraid to be infected by the virus by the sneeze when somebody sneezes, guess what other people are doing are you with me they disperse so if you want to disperse a crowd sneeze and cough it sure will disperse everybody ah rush Go to Costco and sneeze. Everybody will get out of your way. And they will probably hate you for sneezing in public if you don't have a mask. Even if you have a mask, they will just disperse. Ah, I'm, I'm out of here. They feel like you're a leper. They feel that you have a, a disease, if you're with me. I, I hope I'm not boring you, friends. Uh, because sometimes I would uh, shift my mind when, when my audience is different. Verse number 9. He that walketh uprightly, walk it surely but he that perverted his way shall be known what does this mean walketh when the bible says walk it means your conversation your way of life your lifestyle or it means your integrity or it means your character what is your character are you good only when you're in front of people when you're at the back, when, they're, when, when you turn your back at people, you say nasty things about them. But when you're in front, you say good things about them. That is what we call in the Bible parlance, hypocrisy. Pretending you're just a bad actor. But God sees your heart, my heart. That's why, friends, integrity is very important. What you say comes out from your heart. And then you live your life according to what you say. To what you live that's why i decided in my own transformation in my acceptance of jesus in my process of dying from self i say lord use me today as i dedicate myself to preaching teaching baptizing and and just preparing other people for your soon return this is the real deal my friends preparation because right now if you are if you are being deceived or you are deluded good luck you might miss the train going to heaven friends you might miss the boat going to the heavenly shore i'm serious dead serious why there are non sdas who are buying land in the woods and going outside of the city what isn't this what mrs white was telling us i'm not saying you should sell your homes and go to the woods no i'm just saying be wise i'm saying prepare believe it or not there are agnostic atheists who are preparing more who are preparing than us they have bunkers they have tiny homes they are off the grid so forth and so on because friends whether we like it or not we whether we believe or not famine earthquakes earthquake that's that will happen in in, in california once that happens have mercy lord fires wildfires hurricane other bad things that are happening will surely come and that means if you're not ready, you're not ready. Hatred among people. The love of many will wax cold. Isn't that true in the church? Isn't that true in the family? Yes, it is true. 
So a wise person, according to the Bible, walks with integrity, uprightness, and walks surely. But he that perverseth his way of preparing, you are just playing video games. I'm not saying video games is bad. It is bad if you're playing with the motive to destroy and kill. That's the first step. Or committing adultery or pornographic materials. But sorry for the kids. Be wise in your ways. Be wise in whatever you do. Verse number 10, the last. He he that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating so fool shall fall. Meaning to say, talker, bubbler, chismoso, chismosa, false accusers. We are emphasizing on commandment number four in the Ten Commandments. Remember the Sabbath, which is the heart of the commandments. But we forgot, thou shalt not bear false witness. We forgot that little commandment. We thought, we assumed that we are following or we are keeping. Friends, let our truth be truth and our false be false. Be wise. Discern what is good and discern what is right. I realize in my 16 years of ministry, in my different churches that I have, that there is no real such thing as good friends or, or, or best friends. You may say it as, as a semantic or, or, or just a word or just words. But the true friend you have today is your faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone for his own in our time right now. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Because when we are sick with COVID-19, guess what? You will be alone. Not even a family member will be with you. So your best friend, your good friend, your true friend is your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ when he comes again that he will resurrect if we die in faith. And if not, friends... Let me tell you, when things go rough, our true characters are shown. So friends, be wise. Keep the commandments of the Lord. Fear God and give glory to Him for the hour of His judgment has come. Be ready. Be prepared. Be, be not out of touch with the Word of God. Be on the loop with the Word of God. Be always prepared. Me and my wife and my daughter, uh, my child, I've been telling them, if the Lord will ask us to leave one of these days, to go somewhere, we need to go, just like Abraham, because the time is so uncertain. Living in the cities, you know what it takes to live in the city. Expensive, high cost of living, polluted air, uh, unhealthy quality of air. Um, dangerous if you're in this in the areas where there are so many <laughs> uh, race wars going on there black versus white brown versus black blah 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 it's just not conducive to our spiritual relationship with the lord go back to nature go back to the word of god go back to the garden of eden and be wise that is my message for all of you today may god continue to bless you and keep you.